In this video, I'll be taking a look at this new Paul Rubens watercolor set of six 15ml tubes. These are all dark muted colors mixed with PBK11. That's a black pigment that goes by a lot of different names in other brands such as Mars, Lunar, Magnetite, or Black Iron Oxide. This pigment offers granulation texture that can vary dramatically depending on how finely ground the pigment powder was before turning it into paint. Paul Rubens uses a fine or less coarse version of PBK11, resulting in only subtle texture and minor color separation in wet washes. After I swatch these, I'll show how they compare to similar products like Van Gogh and Rembrandt's Dusk Colors, as well as the Boku Undo Sumi Shadow Set. In each color, the black has been mixed with a second light fast pigment, which appears suitable for a long-term wall display or art to sell. These are all very dark colors with a nearly black mass tone, so you will get a wide value range between full strength to diluted. This would be great for light to dark value studies, grisaille underpaintings, or monochromatic studies. Most of these colors seem ideal for nighttime landscapes or animal portraits under the moonlight, where you'd only see a muted shadow color. If you can't see yourself using these kinds of colors frequently, but you like how they look for occasional use, I would definitely recommend just adding your favorite version of PBK11 to your palette. Roman Schmal has a great variety of smooth to coarse textural options, which can be mixed with any other watercolor you own to achieve a very similar effect. In comparison to Van Gogh's Student or Rembrandt's Prograde PVK11 mixtures that they call Dusk Colors, the Paul Rubens are very smooth. They are not as uniform as non-granulating paints, especially in wet washes where the color separation is more notable than on dry paper. Some of the color options are similar, but there are no blue PBK11 mixtures from Van Gogh or Rembrandt. I really love the intense texture in Van Gogh's Dusk series, but it takes more planning to make those sort of colors work in a painting. I feel like the Paul Rubens will work for a wider variety of painting subjects. This Paul Rubens set has a very similar appearance to the Boku Ando Gansai style watercolors, which use a PBK7 lamp black or Sumi ink instead of PBK11 black iron oxide. Aside from that, the main differences between them is that Paul Rubens uses a more light fast red and gum arabic binder, making Paul Rubens a better option for vegans and has less fading issues. My biggest complaint with all of these paints is that there's a learning curve concerning wet to dry shift. The black pigment makes them look darker while wet, but as they absorb into the paper, they lighten. I tried three kinds of cotton paper in this video, B, Arches, and Saunders Waterford, all of which show the same dramatic shift. These are pretty absorbent papers for layering instead of lifting, so it's possible that the wet to dry lightening may be less dramatic on hard sized papers with extra surface coating. All of these paints layer well and have enough transparency to build up darker layers after the last layer dried. There were times when I put a really wet wash down and it dried much lighter than expected, so I just went over it again to build up darker colors. If you decide to get these, I would definitely take a bit of time to test some scrap papers with value scales and water ratios to help get a handle on this before diving right into painting. I'd love to hear if these are something you'd be interested in or if you prefer mixing your own black, neutral tint, or another dark mixture. Let me know in the comments.
If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent Lightfast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.